What's going on guys and welcome back to Saving Skylands once again for another character review video. And uh, today we have an interesting one. We have a character who I just found super annoying um, and not that good because I had never played with her in her original game and that is Flashwing. And I do have Lightcore Flashwing here because I do have different paths and I obviously want to use both. So uh, hopefully here uh, you guys get a good showcase of which path is better for you. And, um, and I'll tell you which one's better for me. And if I like the character at all in general. Because I came to liking her a little bit through my last playthrough. Um, she's a lot better in Giants than she is in Swap Force. Um, at least on her one path. So, anyways, I'll, you know how I hate to waste time. So, let's get into this. Okay, so our first Flashwing. By the light. Yes. She has the her little crystal path. That shoots this path. That sticks to the walls. Yeah, I don't know. I never really got it. I never really paid. I just find her uh, annoying, and it's for one reason, and you'll understand why. Yeah, her shard. Yep, yep. There it is. This is why I cannot. Fit. I'm gonna point to it. It's, hold on. I gotta figure out where I'm like. Yeah, over there somewhere. Okay. Anyways, I cannot stand the noise she makes. Drives me bonkers. That yell, like it's on whirlwind a level of annoying, and that's high. Anyways, this, uh, she can, like, heal herself or something like that? Yeah, there you go. Crystal's embedded in the wall, heal Flashman when she is close. So that's awesome. And they shoot out of everywhere. So I don't have a reason to not like her other than that. Her other one is just spinny, 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 more spin, and deflects things. And then you can shoot lasers out of it. So it might be a little hard on this controller to do that. I'm still getting you. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. Alright. So we are, mm, what level do we want? Let's do like the second level, because this one has a good amount of combat, I think. And then we can do a arena battle or something like that. So I'm going to switch back and forth between these two. Um, this is my light core Flashwing. I think probably my favorite design of Flashwing. Her face looks totally different from her Series 1. Um, we gotta does make she a have Series 2 or is it just a light core? To find that hermity fella. Not sure. I know she has Jade Flashwing. to find but... around here? All right, so we have her. Oh, that's the move I cannot stand. This one. Why wouldn't you shoot forward? I have to turn around to shoot it. See, that's where it is. She doesn't shoot fast enough. I don't know why she just does it for me. She just. And you may be thinking, what? She fast? She shoots really fast. Not for me, I guess. I don't know. Something about it feels laggy. She's fine. Speed move I enjoy the most. That's why in Swap Force I went the other path and she flies through the Swap Force levels that are super long. She does good damage too. She does about the same amount of damage as Swarm's main attack. Uh, not main attack. When he's flying, I mean. I didn't mean to grab another one. I think there's something. Don't we go somewhere else and grab something else from here? It showed I bounced, but I totally did not. Okay, so... It's definitely about... Something about her just feels different. Like, I know she's a lot of people's favorite, but she, I can feel like she's just disappointing. So, wow, that went down really fast. Yeah. Right. You know what? That went down suspiciously fast. I don't think she's that powerful. No, it's on hard. Okay. Which, by the way, that is what I do most of the Super Ninja Commando tests on, unless I'm on Swap Force. Okay, so we're gonna try to mix up the music. So let's. Whatever that thing was. Okay, ooh. Oh, so it goes really slow in and out of that thing. Like, I pressed it like a minute before. Ah, get out of the way of that thing. Wow, she's very powerful. Why is it? Okay, same amount of damage as her main attack. They just go different directions. Okay, well I need to grab the 
I know her other version, it stays in that <laughs> thing longer. This. And it can deflect things. So when we get into that other area over there, I will switch <laughs> to her. I don't know what it's going to read as. Probably just flash screen special or something like that. Shining through. Okay, we're going to try to take out these things over right here. You're getting a phone call. And... Sorry about that, I had to answer an important phone call from work. So, let's get back into this. As I said, I think I was going to switch. So we're not putting on Light Core Flashwing for the other path. Blinded by the light. Apparently she has the same hat on. Okay, you know what, I'm actually curious. Let's check out. Alright, let's see what it actually does. Okay, so it lasts longer, does more damage. Gain extra armor and deflect enemies' projectiles back at them while spinning. So you have extra armor while spinning, not extra armor in general. And while spinning, press A to shoot beams of light. Ooh, okay. Okay, I got... Oh, so there's low Oh, wow! Jiminy Crystal. Hey! Crystal power! And she has the elemental strength right now. But she's had pretty much the full level. Okay, 9 damage isn't a lot, but it's kind of just a bonus. Her main attack does like the same amount of damage, no matter what. No matter what upgrade you have, you guys. Oh wow, that move is great. It's a little a hard victory. to control sometimes, but overall it's pretty good. It's faster too. Skylanders of the light are stronger. Here. Wow, that was awesome. This one's definitely more of a tactical move. It's a lot easier to control and swap horsing up as well. It's a little weird. I mean, everything's a little weird in the previous two games after you play Swap Force because of how big an improvement Swap Force is from the rest of the franchise. Just make sure it worked around. So it's good that you can still have a good main attack that does good damage. It's the same. It just doesn't stick to walls and heal you. What you're losing, you're losing health. Like, the ability to regenerate, you're willing to trade that out for a better better attacks. So, you can pick and choose what you want there. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, I got stuck in here. I don't like this move. I can't stand that thing. What, where am I supposed to go? Up there? Okay. Hold on. Well, do I have two keys? Oh, I do. They're blending in with each other. Oh, yeah. Make way. Uh, it's a three-minute recording on how long the other. Excellent. No. All right. So now I think I'm gonna take her into an arena battle. Let's see how she does. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. This is gonna yeah, be a longer level. Reminds me. Turns out that fairy Persephone stowed away on my ship. Also, if you're saying that I just changed my hat between Ready Super Ninja Commando Tests, if you're watching upgrade? these back-to-back, because -back, I did the Swarm episode last, Very well. you're right. I just changed my hat. So I look a little different, but I have the same shirt on. Maybe I should just switch headsets every time. I should go from mine to Elizabeth's, from mine to Elizabeth. I love this move. And I like with the old games, you could use the triggers still. Like, the... the bumpers and stickers stickers so you can hold one down and still use the gamepad because like when you get the trap team they have you do like the same kind of moves but you can't use it like they're not available to use which sucks who is shooting me when you're stuck over here power perfected so like you have to like press one button and then reach with your same thumb or you can't go like this like it's just weird just like they could never make up their mind whether they wanted you to shake the chest to open them. Um, uh, what were the other ones? There was shake, there was tap. Is that it? I feel like there was more. I feel like there was one more. Just like enter a pin code. 
The Last Stand. X-Men? Also, saw No Way Home. Amazing. I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone who, who haven't seen it. It's been out for like a month, but still, I'm not gonna be that guy. It was amazing. So you can shoot over here, but I might leave them for the purpose of combat. I think dudes are. Yeah, they look like dudes. Please hit someone. That thing is so bad. This move alone sucks. Unless you're hoarded by enemies, it can still only hit five at a time. So. Not my favorite move. And notice I didn't use her charge up move once because it. It's annoying. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing now in an arena battle now and see how good she really is. I know a lot of people love her, but to me, she's. she's I think she's on Jetback's level. In that sense. I don't think Jetback's bad, I just think he's boring. And she's not boring, she's just. Yeah, you know? I really need to do a Super Ninja Command to have some Because that was a guy. Got new respect for. You think you're so when I played Spy's Adventure, because I never put him in the original two games, and he moves so much faster. His like flame breath moves faster. He's much better in the original two games. So it's probably best that they didn't. Smoke destroy the smoke bombs to clear. Curse to drain your health. Yeah. Presence safe. That one's hard. Eh. No, definitely not. Nah, you know, we're gonna do the second one. We're gonna do some smoke. Because we don't want it to be too difficult, like the stage itself. Because we we are genuinely taking All a look right, at the character. Not trying to put them through hell. So who's trying to get my attention? I hit okay. But... Three, two, one, go! Go get him, boys! I do have to work. But we don't I have to work. This is too okay, so this one has this attack. So. The good thing is, you can have a close range attack and then come out of it. Look at this. Oh my god. I'm, I love this path. This path is more fun to me than. Shoot. I don't need it. No, you're just trying to get me to go into the fire. And like, the beams don't do a ton of damage, but you add them to the spinning move. And you're doing, okay, you're doing 14 damage for the spin. And then you add on, how much was it? Nine. Math. Someone do it. I don't know, what do you want? I She's really doing 23 damage for you. So you just took out that dude in like two seconds. That's how you use power. Okay, never mind. She's better than Jetback. I think that way. She's much better than Jetback. Jetback has one decent move, and it's his main attack. But the thing is, it's just boring. They don't want to shoot air. See, now look. Now we're like at bay at the enemy. Like, she wants us to go over there. But no, we're just too bad. And then we can get on his backside. 16 damage, so it is slight. Keep hitting him, so you stay close to him, just circle the enemy, and then shoot your beams at the same time. So we're gonna try to use all the moves. Okay, now let's switch. Now, wait, why? Oh, that's right, I can only use one. I done messed it up. That's right, I forgot, you can only use one for an arena battle. Well, either way, her moves are very similar. No matter what path you go, and honestly, you can't go wrong. She has two good, good path upgrades. Now, how long did that take? That wasn't too long, right? You get it. We did. Thank you. No, we are going to go back and we are going to talk about Flashwing here and other Flashwing, which we're just going to leave on. So I can show you guys. This is normal Flashwing Series One, Generation Two. 
I had to explain that to people on TikTok. Boy, was that interesting. I had to explain the meaning of generation versus series. Like, series is obviously how many they've had, that one character has had, and then generation is, like, from which game. And that was a hard thing to explain. And then, like, somebody asked, what's a repose? And I was like, oh, no, you done messed it up now. And then you just needle in a haystack trying to explain that. But anyways, okay, back to Flashwing. We are going to bring up her little... My time to shine. Sure, it's her time to shine, and it was. She did very well, honestly. I, I gained some respect for her. Oh, hold on. I'm going to lose all respect. Right here. So you go ahead. That damn scream! She does it every time! So, if I play as her, as I just did for the past, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, then I enjoy it. I enjoy it. She's truly fun to play as. And she's a ranged Skylander, and I love that. Um, but the thing is, she also has close range. That little spinning thing. It can deflect things. Wow, she has a lot of gold. Anyways, if she can deflect things. It does great damage. She can shoot uh, those lasers out of it if you go that path, which... Personally, it's the one I prefer. I prefer this path right here. I prefer the bottom path. But this one, just as good. But this one's more fun to me. I like shooting lasers and being able to spin around in circles. It's fun for me. But um, overall, she's, she's very good. There's only one flaw, and it's that one move where... Um, here, I'll click on it. It's the... This move. It literally says in it... Um, press B to fire crystal shards in all directions, but forward. Why would you do that? Why? I just can't stand that. And it does more damage, which is the only upside to it. So overall, Flashwing, you're a 9 out of 10. She is very, very good, and I have new respect for her. I just stay away from that one charge move that's a little much for me. That, that scream every time and uh, that one move that I don't care for but I can use it occasionally when there's like enemies all around because her main attack is fast enough like to shoot if you're ever in trouble so overall Flashwing 9 out of 10 highly recommend probably one of the best uh, Giants cores I think that's safe to say now so uh, yeah make sure you comment down below um, a character you want me to uh, review next and if this is your first time, there's a whole playlist on my channel um, uh, called Super Ninja Commando Tests. And that's what these are. Character reviews, I rate them out of 10. But comment down below, a Skylander you want to see now. And as I said in the last episode, Giants and Skylander Spires Adventure characters are now available to be shown. So uh, feel free to comment those guys, because I'd like to do um, Sunburn. I almost forgot his name. Um, because I want to like him. I really do. And I want to... I want to give him a fair shot. So if somebody comment, sunburn, please. And then that, thank you guys for watching. This has been Victor of Saving Skylands, and I will see you guys soon.